Hey students, it's Mr. Griffith here. I wanted to show you the pastels that we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them. And uh, I'm gonna take the plastic wrap off. A few of you were asking questions last week about, you know, some things with using those. So I said I would go ahead and make a little video that talks about these pastels. So I'm gonna to go to my first page of my sketchbook. And actually, you can go to the first page of your sketchbook and uh, practice using the pastels just to see what you can do with them. So I'm going to pull a color out here. So I've got this blue and uh, I'm going to test it out. I'm just going to make, make a little swath of color on here. Okay. So the color lays down a really nice field of color. Um, a lot, lot better than crayons do. Uh, you can really fill it in, especially if you cross hatch. So you can fill in very nicely. I'm not pressing very hard at all. Um, and if I want, I can kind of blend it and I can make the edges look faded out if I just pull it out okay, with my finger. Now, that's one of the really cool things about oil pastels is that you can blend them. Now, when you do it, be careful because you're going to end up with oil pastel on your fingers, okay? If it's on your fingers and you go to touch your face or any other part of your skin, it's going to end up on there. So imagine if you go around your house and start touching things, it's going to end up everywhere. You've got to make sure you're careful with it. I'm going to blend this light blue and dark blue together. So I'm going to lay down some color here. Okay, so I got this light blue. Um, I tend to color in the same direction all the time. I just think it looks better. So I've got a layer of light blue. Now I'm going to overlap a little bit of the dark blue on there. And then go with the dark blue on its own. In fact, uh, I think at the edge of the dark blue, I'm going to add a little red. And pull some red out. So let's just see what happens when we do this. You can already see where the red and the blue are overlapping. It's creating a purple. So I'm going to start with this light blue. I'm going to go back and forth, and I'm going to keep going back and forth and blend it across. Okay, and see what I can... Just see what we can do with it. Okay, it didn't get real strong color on there that time. But I think you get the idea. Now the oil pastels are uh, very fragile. So not only are they messy, they're also fragile. If I push down hard with this, it's going to break. I'm gonna go ahead and break one just so you can see what it's like. I'll break one that I don't think I'll use very much. So that's probably my yellow. So I'm going at it, putting some yellow down and I start pushing a little harder. Eventually, uh-oh, it broke. So it's gonna end up in pieces. So I'm going to save these pieces. Now, even if it does end up in pieces, save the pieces because they work just the same, okay? You can get some really good uh, colors on your paper with the oil pastels. Um, I want you to just try to experiment, color with them, see what you think about them. Uh, just use that first page of your sketchbook to lay down some color and play with them, try to blend them. Maybe you can even draw a few things. All right, if I'm using oil pastels and it's on something that's going to be touched a lot, like the cover of your sketchbook, if you happen to use oil pastels on the cover of your sketchbook, you're going to want to make sure that you seal the oil pastel in there. Because if you don't, then every time you touch your, your, your sketchbook or whatever you put it on, every time you touch it, it's going to get on your fingers. So when I, go, when I use oil pastels and I want to seal it, one of the things I can use, if I'm at my house, I use a product called Mod Podge. I'm not at my house right now, I'm at the school. So at the school, I'm simply going to use Elmer's glue. So I'm going to put a little Elmer's eventually. Just put a little Elmer's on a plate like that because I'm not I'm not sealing very much of this. And I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint 
over top of the pastel and it's gonna smear a little bit that might give a cool effect so I guess you probably wouldn't want to do this if you did a line drawing with oil pastels but if you did something that you blended a lot you could seal it with Elmer's glue you're definitely gonna want to seal it uh, if it's something that's going to be touched that's all I do just paint it on on top and I would paint the whole thing so it's consistent uh, today I'm not gonna paint the whole thing I'm just gonna let it dry and see what happens now if I leave the glue in the paintbrush, the paintbrush is going to get ruined. So I now need to immediately go wash my paintbrush out. So I'm gonna go do that and I will leave you to it. Okay, so another part of this, uh, using oil pastels is cleaning up. Um, I have asked you to make sure that if you're working at home, you put a piece of paper under whatever you're working on uh, so that it doesn't get all over the table. But let's just say it does happen to get on the table. Oh no, I've marked my table with a blue oil pastel. Well, the best way to actually clean this up is to use a dry tissue. So this is just a plain Kleenex tissue and I'm just gonna put my finger inside of it and wipe it right up. Okay, it pulls up all the material. That's the best way to clean this up.